Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Film. So it is GDC, stated in real, right now. It's still going on. And basically what I'm going to show you is the new MetaHuman animator. This is insane. Mind-blowing. So with that being said, let's go check it out real quick. Then you talk about it a little bit and then show some showcase videos. So let's go. Thanks, Dana. Thank you. Some incredible games for everybody. Wow, it's great to be back after four years. Um, it's good to see you all. Um, so... It's been two years since we released MetaHuman Creator. This cloud-hosted uh, tool so. allows you to create photorealistic digital humans for your game or experience with the simplicity of an RPG character creator, yet with a level of realism and customization that you've never seen before. Our community has created millions of MetaHumans for their Unreal projects, and the work we've seen has been unbelievably breathtaking. And I'm sure a bunch of you in the audience are actually making MetaHumans as well. Let's take a look at some of this work. Death, baby. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's unbelievable. So in this state of Unreal, two of my works were shown. The Crisis, the Dinosaur one, and my Cyberpunk short film. I still can't believe it. I mean, honestly, that's Love, Death. I was just on the same reel with Love, Death, and Robots. We'll talk about that later. Let's talk about many human You know, there isn't now. a day that... Thank you. Yeah. So there isn't a day that goes by that we don't see some posts on LinkedIn or Facebook or wherever showing us amazing usage of metahumans. And I think it's been a really big game changer for anybody trying to tell a story in their game or their experience. Um, but today we want to take things to the next level. So I'm going to actually introduce two of my most favorite friends um, to the stage. Uh, our head of digital human technology, Vladimir Masilovich, and the actress best known as Senua from Ninja Theory's fantastic Hellblade series, Melina Jurgens. How are you both doing? We're good, thank you. thank you. It's been a while since we were last on the stage. In fact, uh, I think it was seven years ago that uh, we went through this uh, ordeal. That's a long time ago. A little ago. bit of PTSD uh, <laughs> triggering there. But it was the first time we all came together. Ninja Theory, Epic, Cubic Motion, Three Lateral, to do something that we thought would wow audiences here and sort of set a template for the future of using characters in games. So anyway, um, I think, we're, uh, I think we're in a pretty, good, pretty uh, amazing place right now with the industry, but we do want to take things to the next level. And what I want to do a, a little bit about is how's things going at Ninja Theory? How's the, how's the new game going? Yeah, uh, the team and I are doing really good, and we're just extremely busy working on the follow-up to the first Hellblade, which will be called Senua Saga Hellblade 2. I can't wait. The first game was fantastic. Thank you. I really <laughs> can't wait to play it, so get it out soon. Anyway, I'm going to leave the stage and let these two take over. Go and blow people's minds. Thank, Thank you, Kim. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Our guiding vision for MetaHuman has been the democratization of complex character technologies, allowing you to work faster and see the results immediately. A character is only truly believable if its motion fidelity matches its visual fidelity, but animating at this level is a hard task for even the most skilled Absolutely. studios. Super Some hard. of our best work leveraged 4D capture, but this took specialized hardware and weeks or even months of processing time. While MetaHuman Creator gave you the ability to generate high-quality characters, animating them still wasn't as easy. This is why I'm very excited to announce a new capability to the MetaHuman product, MetaHuman Animator. MetaHuman Animator contains the essence of our 4D pipeline, but optimized to run on a single machine. It is able to use iPhone, as well as stereo professional systems, and today, we're going to demonstrate how it works. For this, we're going to need Mel, our technician, John Cook, and just the phone. Just the phone? <laughs> Mel, can you take your position, please? Sure. Yeah. Let me know when you're ready. OK. OK, and action. I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. <sighs> and sometimes, all I need is a look. Cut. Thanks, Mel, that was great. Yeah, you're welcome. OK. Our technician, John, is currently pulling Mel's performance from the phone onto his machine, where everything will be processed locally. 
We have updated our live link face mobile app to capture all data at the best resolution possible with the device. MetaHuman Animator uses video and depth data to convert um, uh, this data into high fidelity performance animation, and it can even use audio to produce convincing tongue animation. John is currently scrubbing through the take to pick the section that he wants to process. John, are we all good with the data? Awesome. So from now on, it's just a single button click to kick off the processing, which for a performance of this length will take less than a minute to convert into animation. So Mel, well, that is processing. Let me show you something else. Yep. Oh, is that me? Yeah. This is what we refer to as your metahuman DNA. Cool. And this is generated by the capture we made earlier, right? Yeah, that's right. So from only three frames of video and depth data, we can generate a rig that predicts all of your facial expressions in just a couple of minutes. Wow. And do you only need to do this once for each actor? Yes, that's right. It calibrates the solver to your face so that we can produce the performance in, in, a, in a way that faithfully reproduces your original performance. That sounds cool. Yeah. So let's check back on the, on the processing, which today is on the latest CPU and GPU hardware from AMD. MetaHuman Animator uses a custom Epic Facial Solver and Landmark Detector. We can interactively look at the animation while it's being solved and compare it to your original performance. So it looks like it just, it's almost finished. After this, it's going to do one more pass to make the curves more stable, which is really quick. And from here on, we, can, we just need to export the animation. This takes only a few seconds, and then John needs to drop it in the level and add the audio so that we can see the result. So Mel's MetaHuman should now be ready in the level. Mel, you excited to see the results? Yeah, can't wait to see it. <laughs> I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. And sometimes, all I need is a look. Thank you all. So, Mel, what do you think? I think it's incredible because it usually takes months between performance capture and getting any results back, so this is blowing my mind. <laughs> and all of this is solved directly onto animator friendly controls. In this case, we are using a bespoke 4D rig, which we created together with Ninja Theory for Hellblade 2, but it's also ready to use on any MetaHuman or any other rig that follows our new MetaHuman standard. Let's Crazy. have a look at that. <laughs> I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. And sometimes, all I need is a look. So the same thing works even on stylized characters. <laughs> yeah. Thank you all. These technologies are completely redefining our creative process. As they will redefine yours, when we release MetaHuman Animator to everyone in just a couple of months. We've got one more thing we'd like to show you. We haven't forgotten about the needs for full performance capture shoots. What you're about to see is animation that has not been polished or edited in any way, and it took MetaHuman Animator just minutes to process start to finish. Yeah, so here's one of my favorite lines from Ninja Theory's upcoming game, Senua Saga Hellblade 2, and I really hope you enjoy it and the rest of the show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sign perf cut, take 13. <clears throat> I see through your darkness now. I see through your lies. I will show them how to see as I do. I will not appease your gods. I will destroy them. Bro. All right. I have goosebumps. All right, so that's it. That is the meta human animator and it's so funny because jello posted something similar 
today, I think, with what he's working on. Because it seems like all we need is some kind of camera, and it's going to use that information to create an actual mesh, half of a mesh, to capture the facial animation, similar to how 4D technology does it. I, I really don't have a lot of words for it. It's just one of those things that I can't wait to get a hold of because I know I am definitely going to be trying this out when it comes out. Just the fidelity that it comes out, just the fidelity and the quality you get out of this my goodness. But but hey, I don't want this video to get longer. That was announced today at GDC State of Unreal. Meta Human Animator. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. And my goodness, crazy, crazy times to be alive right now. And I'll see y'all in the next one. If you haven't done so, go ahead and check out my Unreal Engine 5 courses on ArtStation, Udemy, or Gumroad. Additionally, I have consulting service now, so hit me up if you have any questions or need help in your Unreal Engine 5 projects.